Uh, I plan to uh, go on with our, our expansion and also to, uh, to make even a stronger tie with the uh, struggling people of the world because they represent two-thirds of the people. The, uh, the, the uh, colonized world or the uh, developing countries are also the colored world. And uh, American imperialism uh, is implicated in all of those, those puppet governments that control uh, these developing countries. In other words, if America withdraws its support from Greece, that Greek regime will fall. If America withdraws its support from, from the puppet government of, of South Vietnam, uh, the Vietnamese war would end. So what I'm saying is we have to hook up internationally. You can only understand the situation internationally. And to, in order to do this, in order to do this, that we are going to commit troops we're going to commit troops to the Vietnamese people, the National Liberation Front, uh, to fight the cowardly American aggressor. Who's and we're, the, Bla the Black Panther the Party. Panthers. That's right. Now, wh when are you going to do that? Is that, uh, is that I'm going to do this as soon as I'm, I'm released, that uh, I'm going to uh, make this known uh, at the Paris Peace Talks so that uh, it can be accepted or rejected uh, by the Vietnamese people. But in the spirit of internationalism and the spirit of international solidarity, we plan to do this, and we would do this for any people who, who are fighting against American you imperialism. Get, you want to get together blacks to go to Vietnam and fight against American troops? Uh, we want to get uh, 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 revolutionary people to go to Vietnam. Uh, I hope some weathermen go also. Uh, as far as uh, the party, we don't think in terms really of black and white. We only think of that when we try to analyze American society, which is a racist society. But we're internationalists. We're anti-racist. We're not even a, a national chauvinist. Uh, as I say, we're internationalists in every sense of the word. Uh, here, our uh, party is composed of uh, uh, blacks simply because of the uh, reality, the cultural reality in the country. I think that if things don't change drastically, it will be bloodshed. What are the Panthers going to, what part are the Panthers going to have in that? Uh, well, the Black Panther Party uh, is a force for justice in the name of peace. And uh, we realize that we're shedding blood now. We're being killed that uh, either by the vicious service revolver of the occupying army, which is the police, dire who's directed by the avaricious businessman, the lying politician, uh, or we're being killed through the lack of medical care, lack of uh, funds because of unemployment, uh, we're being killed because of lack of uh, nutrition. So violence can take many forms. I call that violence when uh, our kids are born and they're uh, uh, born with uh, organic brain damages because of the malnutrition of the mother, you see, uh, for economic reasons. The country is much too rich for that kind of thing. Uh, the country is too rich. Uh, the country is supposed to be too civilized. We've uh, analyzed this uh, uh, society and we've come up with the best solution of any uh, uh, organization or party. And uh, I think that uh, it's clear that in order for the people to be free in this country, the oppressed people in general, and uh, black people in particular, we would have to have a socialist society, uh, 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 a proportional representation, and a socialist framework. What I mean by this, the civil rights movement is dead. That uh, white people in 1776 broke away from England, and they broke away because of taxation without representation and also uh, it was a war of decolonialization. Uh, and uh, what they instituted was uh, democratic capitalism. I think capitalism at that time was progressive. The Civil Rights Movement is no more than a continuation of the American Revolution that took place in 1776. But this time the blacks were trying to get those same rights, trying to get those same rights that the whites got then. Uh, but the only uh, difficulty you have there is that the same conditions no longer exist because the dialectics have changed. Uh, you no longer have democratic capitalism, you have monopolistic capitalism. A uh, good analysis, uh, analogy would be it's like old wine, you see, the longer it sits, uh, the stronger it gets. And uh, the party is becoming a greater influence. It's, uh, it's transformed itself from a national party to an international party uh, with headquarters in about six or seven uh, branches in about six or seven, six or seven uh, countries uh, that we're in 
practically every state in, uh, in the Union, and uh, we're very influential. Has your philosophy, your outlook on life changed at all? No, as I said, I've become stronger. Uh, there's a, when I used to go to church as a child, the preacher used to say, suffering is good for the soul. And I never understood that. But now I think I understand it. Whether I'm there or not, the fight will go on. Uh, one man never makes a revolution, nor one weapon, defeat, does, uh, one weapon never defeats a revolution. The people always uh, win wars, and people uh, write world history, make world history, that is, and uh, they transform uh, the planet Earth. We're being murdered over and over again, and it, uh, the murders uh, uh, of the party members and of blacks in general supersedes that of, of the new left, but you're, it's the, uh, the murders of the new left is escalating uh, because, as I said, a line of demarcation is being drawn. I think that, uh, that uh, this uh, fight will sharpen as time goes, not only on a national level, but on an international level. I don't believe this country will be able, in spite of its great power, I don't believe it will be able to fight every country in the world and also fight a revolutionary war at home. That's what we're really banking on. You say the Panthers will mount an offensive in Vietnam. Uh, we, we, we will offer, we will commit uh, an undisclosed number of troops to the uh, National Liberation Front. Well, specifically, how, how do you go about that? Uh, well, well, when I get out, I'll, uh, uh, I'll probably make an executive mandate and, uh, or proclamation, uh, have it delivered to the Paris Peace Talks, uh, introduced there, and also a, uh, a, a copy sent to the, uh, uh, the uh, provisional government of, of uh, South Vietnam, National Liberation Front, and, uh, and uh, just simply offer the troops in the name of, in the spirit of solidarity, and then we'll be up to, to the, uh, the people of the country, of uh, the uh, National Liberation Front, to accept our reject. We, real, we realize we have problems here, domestic problems, and we're fighting uh, a revolution in this country, but uh, we, we, uh, we must always uh, uh, hook up and uh, have solidarity with people of the world. We realize also that America, the American aggressor, is having all sorts of problems home, but still he's messing with other people's business abroad. If he can do it, then we can do it also.